Today we're going to install some window film. It uh, will help stop glare. It'll give you some privacy and uh, keep the heat out in the summer. The tools that you'll need for the job are clean water, baby shampoo. We'll give the glass a good clean, sharp knife and a tape measure. We've got a squeegee and in the pack there is a smaller scraper and a nice flat table to cut on. To start with, we'll measure the window that we're going to cover and allow two centimetres either side so that we can trim it down. We will clean the window thoroughly to get rid of any grease with a window cleaner. Then it needs to be dry because you can't have any ammonia or cleaning products on the window or it will dissolve the adhesive on the back of the film that you're going to install. We need some fresh water to which I'll add a few drops of baby shampoo. It helps adhere the film to the glass and it also allows a little bit of slippage so you can manoeuvre the corners into place. We then spray the window leaving a nice film of water on there. We'll roll out the window film and cut it to size allowing two centimetres at the top and bottom. You then use some sticky tape on both sides of one corner and it might take a few goes but eventually you'll see the clear backing come off the adhesive side of your film. And we can work that along to a whole top edge. And once you've got that in a nice even line, we can then start to offer this up to the window, lining the edges up so that we're all nice and square. So once you've got the top two corners in place, get it so that the film is nice and square. We haven't taken the backing off yet. We can allow the top part, which you have got the backing off, to be put in place, running your fingers across the top. We then squeegee, focusing on the center and then working towards the outsides. As you work your way down with the film, it's always best to keep it as moist as possible. That way you get a much smoother finish and it's easier to get the air bubbles out. Just working from the center. Once you've got all of the larger air bubbles out, then it's time to get the smaller plastic scraper. It's got to be plastic so you don't damage your film and work any little air bubbles that you may see towards the outside, working your way around. There may be some pockets of moisture. That can just be worked to the edge, but most of that will work with the adhesive on the backing and create a firm bond to the glass. So after we've got all of the air bubbles out, it's now a case of trimming the top and the bottom. So once you've trimmed off the edges, you need to get your little plastic scraper out again and tuck all of the corners in as hard as you can, squeegeeing towards the outside, getting all of the moisture out as you go. So that's the window film installed. Um, for any other great advice, go to Bunnings.